Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Angelina Yi, Executive Director for the Institute for Advanced Study at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. It is my great honor to be your host for Professor Stephen Hawking's lecture today, the first in a series of stellar lectures to inaugurate the Institute. The Institute for Advanced Study in Hong Kong is the brainchild of President Paul Chu, who has a dream. He dreams of Hong Kong, China, and Asia's renaissance into a global intellectual and innovation center, bringing together the world's most brilliant minds the Institute will drive cutting-edge discovery and scholarship to meet the great challenges of the 21st century. There is nothing more uplifting than to have Stephen Hawking announce the launch of a brave new voyage to imagine a different space, a different time for Hong Kong. Before I invite Professor Chu to give his welcoming remarks, may I call your attention to a few mundane but important matters. First of all, photography is strictly prohibited throughout the lecture. Professor Hawking uses a blink switch to control his communication system. Camera flash will cause his delicate communication system to break down. Second, Professor Hawking communicates through a computer synthesizer, which may take some time to convey. Please be patient and remain silent throughout the lecture. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Ladies 會破壞他的溝通渠道 I now invite Professor Chu, President of the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and the founding director of the Institute for Advanced Study to deliver his welcoming remarks. Good afternoon, Council Chairman Dr. John Chen, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have an impossible test today. How do you introduce a living legend? We are here today not because Professor Hawking is the Lacassian Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge, not because Professor Hawking is the recipient of a large number of prestigious awards, not because Professor Hawking is the originator of many ground breaking scientific theories, nor that he is the author of many best-selling books, including A Brief History of Time. We are here because he is larger than life, larger than any human institution. Professor Hawking represents the miracle of human mind and the triumph of the human spirit. He has inspired us and will continue to inspire future generations to reach for the stars. For all this, the local news media has coined a new term, the Hawking spirit. 
The term is here to stay and has become part of our vocabulary. For the 1,800 audience here and hundreds of thousands of those watching live broadcast of this event and countless others, Professor Hawking is a symbol of the limitless mystery of the universe, the endless fascination of scientific discovery, and the boundless imagination of human mind. We at the Institute for Advanced Study are most fortunate to have Professor Hawking here. By delivering this inaugural lecture, he has greatly encouraged us to pursue our shared dream. That dream is to spread the excitement of knowledge and elevate scientific research and discovery in this part of the world to the highest level. But it is not just the University of Science and Technology or the Institute of Advanced Study that owes him a debt of uh, gratitude. All of us in Hong Kong are deeply uh, grat grateful to him for his example. For the young people in the audience today, he's the living proof that nothing is impossible. Normally, the origin of the universe is a subject light years away from the minds of people of Hong Kong. But today, I invite all of you here and those who are watching the TV live broadcast to enjoy this lecture, to savor every word, and above all, to absorb the presence of a great and in a unique human being and the most brilliant scientific mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud and honored to pre present to you Professor Stephen Hawking. <clears throat>